I don't do intros. How you guys doing today? I'm doing all right today. Today I'm bringing you a brand new build here on the channel. The Mesmer's Fire Knight build. We're using all of Mesmer stuff. In this video, I'm going to tell you about the build and all that stuff. Um, man, before we doing that though, before we get into this video though, uh, how are you guys liking Shadow of the Earth Tree, man? I just finished it the other day. It was pretty recently that I just killed the final boss. And it was a uh, 11 out of 10 experience for me, man. I love the DLC. I can't wait to play more of it on all my other builds. Uh, but with that being said, guys, let's talk about this one. But before we do, be sure to like and subscribe to the video, man. We're trying to get the 2K subs here on the channel go follow my twitch if you haven't already i stream invasions there sometimes and go join the pvp builds discord if you haven't already you can drop your clips your builds your fashion whatever you want down there and it's also just the best way to communicate with me all those links will be in the description of this video man and also if you guys are interested in the exact numbers uh and gear of this build all of that will be at the end of the video with that being said, guys, let's talk about this build. So obviously we have um, all of Mesmer stuff. We have the Fire Knight Greatsword on, which this might be the most insane weapon they've added to uh, the DLC. Um, I've seen a lot of people using it. I'm using it here with the new Mesmer Ash of Wars. We have on Flame Skewer, which I believe is like the... Uh, the giant hunt version uh, and then the other one is flame spear they both ignite your, your weapon in uh, mesmer's fire but they both are really fucking good uh and the uh the fire knight sword itself is kind of crazy because it has the god slayer moveset with the with you know the really fast r1s uh, but then it has like Zweihander R2s <laughs> on top of being like a faith scaling uh, colossal sword. It, it's pretty good, man. And uh, this one that you're seeing on the screen right now, this is the uh, Serpent Flail. And you guys know me, I am a stand for um, flails in this game. And this one is probably up there one of my favorites that they've added. This flail is insane. And uh, if you guys you guys are watching me blow up everyone with Mesmer's Orb, of course, on this video. Uh, we'll talk about the spells here in a minute. But right now, I have to stand out about this flail. So this flail, you buff it with the L2 uh, weapon art. It gives it Mesmer's Fire around it. And then every time you press R2 with the, uh, the flail, it does like an AoE explosion. You'll see right here. This is with no buffs, just a charged... Uh, one-handed r1 no buff so i buffed the weapon there with the with the weapon art then i charge it r1 look at that 1200 damage that's insane no buffs by the way just almost killed the guy with no buffs on no flask no flame grammy strength nothing like that um we're gonna be showcasing a few weapons like that but um i don't know if i actually talked about the fire knight sword or not how insane that weapon is sometimes it gets r1 true combos the fire knight sword does and you'll see that in this video here um, but i guess i'll go ahead and talk about the spells real quick while we have a chance so there are three mesmer's fire spells in the game two of them are really good rain of fire this one right here is pretty trash uh, but the other two are like insanely good so fire serpent uh, which is the uh, lesser of the three uh, I guess it's like in second place. It costs like no FP to use it. You can charge or uncharge it. It has really good tracking, but it doesn't have enough like a good range at all. And it does about 500 to 600 damage sometimes. And here you, you're seeing me using a flame spear. Flame spear is almost like ice spear, like it shoots a projectile forward, um, but it has like a thrust that goes with it. Like there, right there, you see me use it right there. And like I said, both the Mesmer Ash of Wars will end up. Uh, will ignite your your weapon whatever weapon that you're choosing to use i'm choosing to use the fire knight sword and there you've seen the true combo right there that it can sometimes do with the r1 r1 uh mesmer's orb is insane and you've seen me nuke people already in this video with mesmer's orb you like fly up into the air like a super saiyan and then you just fly down and nuke everyone around you and it's it it is capable of doing some crazy fucking damage and uh, I love it, man. 
you fly up into the air like you're Goku and you literally dunk it down on them like you're Michael Jordan. It, it's probably one of my favorite spells added. I mean, all the Mesmer stuff's really, really cool. And uh, by the way, guys, we are using uh, Mesmer's Helm and a little bit of the Fire Knight stuff to boost our damage on this build. The, uh, the Fire Knight's armor and Mesmer's helmet will, will boost the damage of your Mesmer's Fire series. Or fire incantations, I should say. Um, and of course, we have the Fire Knight seal on as well to further boost our damage. Um, here is Mesmer Spear. I am also using. I'm using like all the Mesmer stuff that I possibly can, just to show you guys how crazy it is. Um, Mesmer Spear is pretty nuts. I don't have the stats to use it on this build per se. I have 25 decks, and then whenever I uh, I pop my Physic, I have 35 because I put the Dex Knot tier on just to be able to use this weapon. But even with minimal stats, uh, this is, for, like, for better or for worse, this is a, uh, a Dex Faith weapon. You should probably have more Dex than anything, but I'm mostly Faith and this still, it, I mean, this still just fucking slaps people, man. This weapon's insane. It basically gives you, like, all of Mesmer's moveset when you press L2. <laughs> And then uh, when you decide that you want to press R2, uh, you can charge or uncharge a throw with the weapon. And the charge version leaves a giant AoE in its path. Um, I haven't really got a chance to nail anybody with the charge version yet, but I imagine that it's pretty insane. Um, I do it a couple times in this clip right here, but it doesn't really uh, hit anybody. Um... I mean, the, the main part about this spear is that it's a spear that does fire damage, scales with faith, and has an insane L2 on it. Um, and it's not even really fully upgraded or optimized for this build. I just kind of threw it on just to, you know, complete the aesthetic of being like a Mesmer's Fire Knight. You guys know I like making uh, character builds more than I like uh, optimizing my builds. Uh, but it was insane, man. And as you can see, I tried to invite... Uh, invite... <laughs> I tried to invade like the Shadow Keep mostly in this video, just to keep some lore invasions going. Uh, next video, you guys are gonna be uh, in for a surprise, that's for sure. Uh, I'll, I'll sh probably show like a sneak peek of the next video, um, in like a short or something like that. But for right now, man, I'm just enjoying the hell out of this DLC. Gonna play through it a couple more times. Right now, I'm just kind of picking up items that I think are relevant for my builds that I already have. Uh, so, obviously, we have a lot of madness stuff. Uh, Moonlight Knight is gonna get some new weapons with Rolana's Twin Swords, of course. And uh, there's a lot of Ghost Flame stuff in this uh, in this DLC. So, like, that's gonna be really exciting for my Ghost Flame build. I can't wait to uh, bring that out. But with that being said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed the build, enjoyed the innovations, and enjoyed the commentary. Uh, with that being said, guys, um, if you like this kind of content, this kind of PvP content, invasions, builds, Shadow of the Earth Tree, man, I do it all. And with that being said, guys, fare thee well, peace out, and all that fun stuff. I'll see you guys later, man. Enjoy all the stats, numbers, and gear, and whatnot. And don't you dare go hollow, my friends.